Cambridge University Footlights Dramatic Club, commonly referred to simply as the Footlights, is an amateur theatrical club in Cambridge, England, founded in 1883 and run by the students of Cambridge University. Topic: History. Footlights inaugural performance took place in June 1883. For some months before the name Footlights was chosen, the group had performed to local audiences in the Cambridge area once, with a cricket match included, at the Pauper Lunatic Asylum. They wished to go wider than the University Amateur Dramatic Club ADC, founded in 1855, with its membership drawn largely from Trinity College, and its theatre seating only 100. They were to perform every May week at the Theatre Royal, the shows soon opened to the public. A local paper commended the club's appeal to the general public, the many different classes of which life in Cambridge is made up. The club grew in prominence in the 1960s as a hotbed of comedy and satire, and established a permanent home in the basement of the Cambridge Union. Having established a tradition of performing at the annual Edinburgh Fringe Festival, the club entered the mainstream when its members formed half of Beyond the Fringe, the hugely popular stage review which toured Britain and America in 1960. The 1963 review then followed in the footsteps of Beyond the Fringe, appearing in Edinburgh and London's West End, before travelling to New Zealand and the United States, where it made appearances on Broadway and The Ed Sullivan Show and received a full page review in time. The first woman to be given full membership was Jermaine Greer. She joined in October 1964 on the same day as Clive James and Russell Davies. There had been women before that time who had been allowed to join in, including Eleanor Bron in the late 1950s, but Greer was the first to be billed as a full member. Apparently Tim Brooke Taylor was instrumental in having women admitted. She was part of the Footlights 1965 review My Girl Herbert. Over the next decade, Footlights members came to dominate British comedy, creating and starring in shows such as Not Only. But also, I'm sorry, I'll read that again, at last the 1948 show and that was the week that was, forming comedy groups such as Monty Python and the Goodies, and generally fueling the satire boom. During the 1980s, Footlights reinforced its position at the heart of British comedy. The 1981 review, featuring Emma Thompson, Hugh Laurie, Stephen Fry, Tony Slattery, Penny Dwyer and Paul Shearer, won the inaugural Perrier Award at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and spawned Fry and Laurie, the first in a long line of popular and successful double acts formed at the club. Their review, The Cellar Tapes, at St Mary Street Hall was billed as the annual review, one of the strongest casts for several years, has already toured in southern England with great success. Many of its former members have gone on to win Oscars, BAFTAs and other awards and enjoy success in the entertainment and media industry. Today, Footlights is recognised as a finishing school for many of Britain's best-known comic entertainers. Topic. Activities During term, Footlights produce the regular Smokers, an informal mixture of sketches and stand-up, at the ADC Theatre. The club also produces the annual pantomime in collaboration with CUADC and the Spring Review, as well as staging the winning entry of the Footlights Harry Potter Prize, a competition in which any student at the university may enter a one-hour comic play. The Footlights International Tour Show takes place from June until October, and travels to Cambridge, London, Edinburgh and venues across the USA. For information about individual Footlights reviews, see Cambridge Footlights Review. Topic. Former members This is a list of former members of Footlights who achieved notability after graduating from Cambridge University. Topic. Presidents 
The elected leader of Cambridge University Footlights Dramatic Club is known as the President, who is assisted by a Vice President, Treasurer, Archivist and several other posts to form the committee. Past presidents have included the following Peter Cook of Beyond the Fringe, Pete and Dud and not only but also Tim Brooke Taylor of The Goodies, I'm Sorry, I'll Read That Again and I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue Graham Garden of The Goodies, I'm Sorry, I'll Read That Again and I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue Eric Idle of Monty Python Clive James author of Cultural Amnesia and Unreliable Memoirs Clive Anderson of Whose Line Is It Anyway Hugh Laurie of Fry and Laurie, Jeeves and Worcester and House Tony Slattery of Whose Line Is It Anyway Sue Perkins of The Great British Bake Off and Mel and Sue David Mitchell of That Mitchell and Webb Look and Peep Show Robert Thorogood creator of BBC One's Death in Paradise Richard Ioade of Garth Marenghi's Dark Place and the IT Crowd Simon Bird of the Inbetweeners and Friday Night Dinner list of presidents. Topic. See also. Cambridge University Light Entertainment Society. The Oxford Review.